everybody, it's Sarah and I am back with another review and that review is probably gonna be a short one because gotta be honest don't have that particularly much to say about the series but I am going to talk about the Millennium's Rule series today by Trudy Kenneman and for some reason the spines of these books look so pretty together. Anyway, this series is a quartet, obviously it's four books. The first book is Thieves Magic, then we have Angel of Storms, we have Successes Promise and Maker's Curse. Now, why do I not have that much to say about the series? I just blew through the series and to be honest, I would give this overall a solid three stars. I don't know if those solid three stars are because I just love Trudy Kahneman's writing and actually this series would be less or if I gave it only three stars because I just love one of her other series which is the Black Magician series and so none of her other series can live up to my love of the first series. It could be either or really, uh, you decide. <laughs> But anyway, let's get into it. I'm gonna try to summarize this a little bit at the beginning once again and afterwards I will just tell you some random shit about the series and you can then decide whether or not you want to pick it up. So why am I only gonna try to somewhat synopsize this? It's because I can hardly remember anything from book one, I have to be honest. I read these last year and this year. This one I read I think in 2021. I hardly remember anything of it so I am scared that if I try to summarize the series based on these three books I will give you spoilers for the first book. So I will just very very shortly and roughly summarize it. Basically in the series we follow two characters. One is Tyan and the other one is Riel. Both of those characters live in separate worlds because within this series you have like tons of different worlds or planets and both of them live in a different world. However, what both of the worlds have in common is that both of the worlds are quite low magic worlds. You have some worlds that are high magic, you have some that are low magic, and then you have people that can use magic and people that can make magic. Riel lives in a world where not only is it a low world magic, however, magic has become outlawed. And so Riel is in big trouble when she finds out that she can actually use magic. That's real side of the story. Tyen is a student of magic. He goes to a school where he learns all about magic and one day when he's on a research expedition he finds a very special book and that book used to be a human however the mind of the human has been planted into the book and now the book knows everything of everyone that has ever touched it. Like as soon as someone touches the book she knows everything that's in the person's mind. And so Tyen finds this book and that leads him on his own journey. Now that's it as far as the summary goes. Let me put up the books behind me and then let me tell you my thoughts on the entire story. So now on my thoughts on the series. As I said, it's kind of hard for me to talk about this series without putting my thoughts on the series into perspective of my previous experiences with Trudy Canavan. So I don't know how much someone will enjoy the series who has never read any books by her. Although if you were to pick up any of her series, I would recommend the Black Magician series anyway. So for the more negative things, I think what didn't work for me in the series was was mainly the romance like it's not very much a romance heavy story like the romance not at all is in the center of the story it just happens every now and again and the two characters like the end goal romance that happens in the series was not necessarily particularly my favorite I thought the chemistry between the two characters just didn't exist. I thought they worked well together, but not in a romantic way. Aside from that, however, what I did really enjoy about the series was the characters. I really love Riel as a character. I love Tyan as a character. I love especially the side characters. For me, the side characters in a lot of Trudy Canavan's works are just very much a strong point. I especially loved one of the main villain's henchmen. He just, 
he's adorable. I love him. <laughs> Not gonna lie. He's also the main queer character, uh, which, you know, it doesn't fall into the evil queer type trope, if that's something that you're worried about. He's just a very, very sweet character and I, I love him. There's a lot there as well with power dynamics that I find very interesting. Something else that I found really interesting is that this is almost a series of standalones like it's between a connected series and a series of standalones because it's not quite that every single book has a finished storyline like they are very strongly connected to each other but at the same time it feels like the main thread of the story has finished after each book like you can really stop the story after each book and you wouldn't feel necessarily like there's anything lacking. There's always threads left open so if you want you know the full experience and want to have all threads kind of neatly tied up you're gonna have to read to the fourth book but I don't think that you're gonna feel bad after finishing a book and deciding to stop the series which was really interesting for me and I think actually is a great way to write a series like not gonna lie I kind of enjoyed it it did kind of lead to me a lot of times taking quite some time to read the next book because I didn't feel you know pushed to right away pick up the next book but at the same time it's just all so felt very relaxing <laughs> to read a series like that. Like, can't lie, kind of enjoyed it. So I enjoyed the queer rap, I enjoyed the characters, I did enjoy the world building, I found it really interesting because you had a lot of elements with the magic and people making magic, you had characters who became ageless through magic, and there was a lot there that kind of played into it. Something that I really enjoy about Trudy Kahneman's writing is that she very much goes back to the roots of fantasy when it comes to magic. And it's just, it's magic. It's glowing balls. It's, it's booms. It's, it's just magic. And people who can do magic can do a lot of different things with them. But also it's not overly scientific. And that's something that I just really enjoy about Trudy Kahneman. Something else that just for me personally I love about her books is that her characters, the way she builds her characters, is just very familiar to me. And yeah, the characters are distinct or the plot points also are distinct from the Black Magician series or whatever. But at the same time, you kind of know what's coming and you have the same archetypes and it's just... I love that. I love when authors manage to at once write something new but also familiar and obviously that has a lot to do with me just loving Judy Kahneman in general but yeah it, it's something that I really enjoyed and the last thing that I really enjoyed that I wanted to mention is the themes of this book. A lot of this book has to do with themes of responsibility and when to step in and when to not step in when you're a very very powerful person because you have a couple of characters who in the course of the series become powerful enough that they on their own can basically make or break an entire society and so they can stop wars they can start wars and a lot of times there's just this question of responsibility are they supposed to step in or are they gonna make it worse when they're gonna step in like where is the line that they can draw when should they get involved or not get involved and kind of around that so yeah i think that's just my basic thoughts on the series as i said i don't have that much to say i did really enjoy it once again i love trudy kahneman's writing i think if you enjoy trudy kahneman's writing you can pick up this series as well again if you've never read her i'm not sure if that is the series that i would recommend but also again when it comes to her writing i am very biased the black magician series was i think the second or third adult high fantasy series that i've ever read i've reread it over and over again it's one of my favorite series of all time so obviously <laughs> i'm always gonna be biased towards it and you know push you towards the series i'm push i'm pointing there by the way because this right here is the series um, I'm always gonna push you towards that one, but nevertheless, I think this one's solid as well. I enjoyed it. 
Uh, there's some things where I'm like, mm, it kind of falls into some, not necessarily harmful, but it goes into the direction of, you know, very orientalist world building tropes. Uh, but that's, as far as I remember, not that much in this series compared to the Black Magicians, for example. Um, like, this certainly is a lot more modern and more aware in its world building. And yeah, with all of that said, I'm not gonna ask you if I made you want to pick up the series or not, because to be honest, didn't really tell you that much about the series. I'm aware of that. But yeah, if you have read the series and if you have any thoughts on it, tell me in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and also maybe subscribing. All the links to my social media as well as to my book club are linked down below, so go and check those out. And I hope I'll see you very soon. Bye!